Do that. Oh. Uh, uh, that's. Now, can you see it? Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. So it's just the weather month. See, like right now, I see the screen, but because I'm not sharing the screen, you guys just see me. I'm going to have to learn to do that. So there are three, only three. They're a traveling salesman, a home health care worker, and a real estate professional. So that's all you guys don't really need to know that other than what I'm trying, the point I'm getting at is by law, by IRS statute, you guys are an independent contractor. You cannot be an employee because the IR, the IRS, which by the way, you guys heard they pushed back filings to July the 15th now. The IRS has dictated three people by law are independent contractors and you guys will be one of them. So as an independent contractor, you can only get paid by the person with whom you are under contract. So you can only get paid for get paid by me. You cannot get paid by another brokerage. So when you guys go to closing and you come back from closing, your check will actually say the modulin group. You will give that check to me because it's what? My money. I will then put that in my bank and pay you out of that check. All right. Lashana, questions? Are you not hearing anything? Are you just? I'm not hearing anything. It keeps breaking up. Maybe it's just my internet. I'm not sure. Anybody else having issues? Just shake your head yes or no. All right. Sorry, I don't know. We'll keep trying to see if it keeps working. So there is the one managing broker, that is I. Now you guys are an independent contractor and you will sign a contractual agreement. Now, what an independent contractor actually is, and let's go over and see if we can do this, because there are technically Two types of employees. Now, uh, somehow you're supposed to be able to do this and get rid of everything. Or how about we just do it this way? There are two types of employees. There are what they call a W-2 employee and a 1099 employee, all right? A W-2 works under what we call a system. So if you've got a J-O-B out there, you guys know what J-O-B stands for? Just over broke, all right? You are a W-2. Now, th what that means is because you work under a system, they can literally say, be here at nine, wear the uniform, you get off at five, you take a lunch at noon. <coughs> so that's how the system works. Now, the second type of employee is what they call a 1099 person. This person works under the output. All I really care is how do you finish the job? If you hire on at the modeling group and tell me you're going to do 10 houses and you only sell one, we may have a problem and have a discussion about that. 
but I cannot, as the managing broker, dictate the system by which you work. If you choose to sell your houses all on third shift, that's fine. If you sell them all to biker gangs, that's fine. I can't dictate how you sell them. If you sell them only on Thursdays, all I can dictate as an independent contractor is the output, not the system. I can't tell you, hey, Sarah, tomorrow I'm going to have you, we're going to have a meeting. So be here at nine o'clock and wear the Moslem Group t shirt. Can't do that. You're an independent contractor. All right. Now, the big kick in the ding ding to me for this is that when you screw up or if you screw up, I actually get in trouble with you. So I can't dictate how you work, but I'm liable for it. That's the big problem in this license law from a managing broker standpoint. I am liable for my agents, but I can't really say, hey, I don't want you selling to those people. You know, don't sell to the third shift people. Don't sell to the um, stripper gang. I just, but I'm liable for it. So if you go out and you make a mistake, I can be on the hook, all right? So I want you to, in your notes, make a difference, differentiation. There's a thing called a managing broker, which is me. And then there's this thing called a branch manager, which is the guy that manages the office. I should be able to make that thing bigger, shouldn't I? That eraser bigger. Just do it that way. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so as an independent contractor on page 119, there are three requirements for you to actually get paid a commission. Three requirements. You must have a valid real estate license. You must have a contract with a managing broker and it will specify if you are anything other than an independent contractor. Lashana, are you there? I lost your camera. Yes, I'm still here. Okay, maybe if you use just the audio, I don't know. The only problem is, is if I go to the board, oh, you can still see me, I just can't see you. All right. I can't see anybody. <laughs> All right, try it that way. Cameron? I'm assuming. See, here's the problem without video. It's hard for me to actually authenticate that you're actually sitting here. And that was one of the comments the state and I had about this question was, how do I authenticate? Well, I know Sarah's sitting here and I can see Christina and Gunjan and Ross. But if, you know, so whether I know it's difficult for you to not have a camera. So I may ask you every couple of minutes, are you still there? If you want to turn your video off, I guess, if it, you're getting a bad connection. I'm just getting I'm not a bad sure connection. I'm turn the video on. Like, I see everybody else, but I, I guess you guys just can't see me. Uh, Some reason it popped me out and then it just clicked back in. Yeah, I think mine is just connection based. I'm sorry. <laughs> 